64-year-old Caucasian male presents to the emergency room with fatigue and abdominal pain. He has no significant past medical history other than well-controlled hypertension that, uh, that is uh, managed with a beta blocker. He has no significant family history. A, an abdominal CT scan is performed and this reveals a 12 centimeter gastric mass involving the cardia and fundus as well as a seven centimeter solitary liver tumor. A biopsy was performed revealing a gastrointestinal stromal tumor or GIST that was KIT positive by immunohistochemistry and found to have an exon 9 mutation. The tumor was also found to be high grade with greater than 5 per 50 high power field mitotic rate. The patient was initiated on therapy with a matinib at the 600 milligram per day dose. This was well tolerated. The patient maintained therapy for five months. At that time, the patient had another CT scan performed of the abdomen that revealed decrease in size of the solitary liver metastasis from seven centimeter to four centimeter with relative stability of the gastric mass. The patient was referred to a surgical oncologist who performed an R0 resection with negative margins of both the liver metastasis and the primary tumor in the stomach. Postoperatively, the patient recovered and was placed on a matinib 800 milligrams per day. Patients with gastrointestinal stromal tumor present with a variety of different symptoms, largely depending on the location of the primary tumor. This patient had a primary tumor in the stomach. The patient presented with fatigue, probably related to anemia, as well as abdominal pain. This presentation is consistent with gastrointestinal stromal tumor in this anatomic location. This patient with GIST was initially treated with 600 milligrams per day of a matinib, underwent surgical resection, and postoperatively was placed on 800 milligrams per day of a matinib. This management is supported by the GIST meta-analysis that found that patients who have exon 9 mutation benefit from higher doses than 400 milligrams per day of imatinib in terms of not only progression-free survival, but overall survival as well.